video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best build for everybody in NBA 2K24. This build will be able to finish at the rim with ease, shoot the lights out, dribble and break ankles, and most importantly, play amazing defense. And to top it all off, I'll be showing you guys the best animations, the best jump shot, and how to upgrade this build as well. Make sure you guys go and drop a like for more build videos and hit that subscribe button if you're new because almost 95% of people that watch me are not subscribed. So make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, y'all, once you guys are ready to create the build, you guys will be greeted by this screen right here when you try to access the My Player Builder. Now, obviously, you're going to click on the new build spot, and when you press A, if you have Rebirth, go ahead and choose yes. All you get is the initial max overall of a 90, silver badges met, and the 5% badge level progression boost. So if you have a Rebirth, go ahead and choose this. I definitely would. There's no reason you should be saying no to this. So if you got Rebirth, go ahead and choose yes. If you don't, it's all right. This build is still going to be amazing, so go ahead and click yes or no if you don't have Rebirth. All right, y'all, after that, you're going to be greeted by this screen right here where you have to choose how we're going to make our build. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and select the create your own template. I wouldn't recommend choosing the NBA templates or the community builds. Just go ahead and choose the create your own template so you can create the build just like mine. And then obviously, you're going to choose the first and last name minus subscribe to three ball. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And then you're going to choose your hand in this, which does this not matter at all. You can pick whatever you guys want to. I usually go right, but in the comment section, let me know what you guys go. And then the jersey number obviously does not matter. Now, here's what matters. We're going to choose the position, height, weight, and wingspan of the build. For the position, you guys can go anything you guys really want to just make sure it's not a power forward or center just make sure you guys go whatever position you guys want to be placed at for me i like my builds at point guard so i just make point guard builds but if you want to make a shooting guard or a small forward go ahead and make a shooting guard or small forward go ahead and do what you want to and then for the height of this build we're gonna go six foot six i like six foot six builds most because they're super fast they're all around and they just get the job done in all aspects on defense offense anything you want the six six build can do and then for the weight, you guys can choose what you really want to i really just go minimum weight because i don't think this affects anything too much we just want to be the fastest build possible so make sure you guys go whatever way you want to me i just go minimum weight at 180 pounds and then for the wingspan of this build we're gonna go ahead and put it one tick up and go to a seven foot wingspan you guys will see later why i chose a seven foot wingspan but it's basically just for the shooting and dunking abilities and defensive abilities for this build longer wingspan you can just do everything much better so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and go a seven foot wingspan for this build now we're gonna get into the stats of this build now obviously the my player builder is broken down to different categories first we have finishing then we have shooting then we have playmaking defense and then our physicals and the first category we're gonna start off with is our finishing ability now like i said this build will be able to finish at the rim with ease so for that reason the first that we're gonna go to edit is our driving dunk so what i want you guys to do for the driving dunk is go all the way up to a driving dunk of a 94 now a driving dunk of a 94 is gonna be crazy for you guys you guys are gonna get a lot of contact dunks without the meter and with the meter if you guys know how to use it and 94 dunk is just the sweet spot you can literally do every dunk in the game and the contact dunks are literally ridiculous in this game especially if you learn how to use the meter you'll be perfect with the 94 dunk we get hall of fame slither finisher gold precision dunker hall of fame bunny gold area wizard and then those other badges right there now you may be thinking my post rise is only out of bronze and i have a 94 driving dunk so what i need you guys to do for that is i need you guys to go to come down to your vertical and put your vertical at an 82 this will give us our gold posterizer badge and it will also help us unlock the elite contact dunk animation that we're going to need for that overpowered dunk with the dunk meter and without the dunk meter you guys could go with an 85 vertical but it's just too expensive in the builder so i wouldn't recommend it so at least we get one elite contact dunk on this build so make sure you guys go a vertical of an 82 hey man really Really good question do you think your favorite player will score one point in their next game if so you have to sign up on underdog fantasy using my code so you guys can make some easy money during the nba season and the playoffs underdog will also match your first deposit up to a hundred dollars as well so if you sign up using my code you will get both a free special and a deposit match up to a hundred dollars so make sure you either click the link in the description or sign up using code three ball so that you can claim your free specials and make some easy money or if you guys just enjoy what i do on the channel make sure you sign up and throw ten dollars into the app and have some fun then after that, we're pretty much done with our finishing category, but I need you guys to do one more thing. I need you guys to put your standing dunk at a 40 so you guys can get those crazy standing dunk animations. And trust me, 40 standing dunk is the sweet spot. You're going to unlock a lot of good animations with this, and you're going to get that cheesy standing dunk animation that people use underneath the rim. And it's just perfect. A 40 standing dunk, do not go any higher, do not go any lower. Just keep this at a 40 so you unlock that animation. After that, you're done with your finishing category. Do not touch it. Just leave it just like that. Now we're going to move on to our shooting category. So for the first time in our shooting category, we're going to go to upgrade the three-pointer to an 86. I'm gonna go ahead and explain why it's an 86 and not an 85 or 82 or anything like that. We're gonna go 86 three-pointer so we get bronze limitless range on this build so you can shoot from deep on this build and we also get that silver agent threes. You guys can see when I drop my three to an 85, we lose the agent threes on silver and we need that. Even if you're not gonna shoot fadeaways, you know, sometimes 2K makes you do fadeaways and stuff like that. This badge pops up a lot so it's really good. So I definitely recommend putting our three-pointer to an 86. And then after that, what you're gonna do is gonna come up to your mini and put that at a 72 so we only like silver midi magician silver midi magician is very effective in this game and as long as you have that badge on silver or higher you'll be perfectly
perfectly fine hitting middies with a 72 midi. So make sure you guys go and put that mid range up to a 72 and that three pointer to an 86. And then for your free throw, you guys can choose whatever you want to for your free throw. If you want to go to a high 90s, you can. If you don't want to touch it at all, you don't have to. I usually play record pro am, so I really just be putting this at an 80 for real. I really don't go higher than an 80 like that because you know it's just overkill in my opinion. But if you guys don't want to miss free throws at all and just have a perfect chance at it, go ahead and go 90 plus free throw if you guys want to. If you play record pro am, me personally, I occasionally play record pro am, so I just keep mine at a smooth 80. Now that is it for our shooting stats. This is what I'm gonna go to upgrade for my shooting. And now we're gonna move down to our playmaking stat. And the first stat we're gonna go to edit is our ball handle rating. So for our ball handle rating, we're gonna go up to an 86 ball handle rating. If you want to go a little higher, you can. But me, I found that 86 ball handling is perfect for all the good dribble moves in the game and stuff like that. Which I'll show you guys later as well in the video. The best dribble moves for our 86 ball handle rating. So yeah, make sure you guys put your ball handling to an 86 so you guys get that silver unpluckable gold ankle breaker. Like I said, this build will be able to break ankles. And then next, you're gonna come down to your speed with ball and you're gonna put your speed with ball to an 80. If you guys want, you can put it at a 75, but there's a lot of good dribble styles that I'll probably release in the near future. And Devin Booker dribble styles also at 80 speed with ball. So I definitely recommend keeping your speed with ball at 80 just for the future and for now, right now. And then lastly, we're gonna go up to our pass accuracy and put that up to a 75. A 75 pass accuracy is more than enough to play in every single game mode possible. If you wanna play threes, definitely a 75 pass accuracy is more than enough. On the two score, 75 pass accuracy is a lot as well. It's really good. You're gonna get your passes if they're fast to your teammates and stuff like that. Your passes won't be slow. You won't be throwing any turnovers or anything like that. If you want, you could go a little lower to save attributes, but me, I like to keep mine at a 75 because it's just the perfect median so that I could play on every single game mode. Now, you guys may be wondering, why do I only have bronze speed booster on this build? I'm gonna need you guys to go and do one more thing for me. I need you guys to come down to the speed and put your speed all the way up to an 81 and then don't touch your acceleration at all. A speed of an 81 is literally perfect. You're gonna be fast on this build running off the ball and running with the ball and stuff like that. As long as you have that silver speed booster, you're gonna be super fast on this build and acceleration does not really matter in this game. It's just a matter of what level you have that speed booster badge on and me personally on this build I have it at a silver if you go at 92 ball handling you can get it at a gold but I find that it's just overkill to go 92 ball handling on a 66 guard so if you want the perfect ISO build I definitely recommend just go 86 ball handling and 81 speed with the 66 acceleration because this year acceleration does not matter too much it's really just about what you have the speed booster badge on now after you do your ball handling speed and acceleration all that we're gonna come back to the defensive category now the first that we're gonna go to upgrade is our primer defense and we're gonna come back to the other ones later for the primer defense go ahead and put your primer defense all the way up to an 85. An 85 primer defense is literally perfect. You get silver challenger, silver pick dodger, silver ankle braces, and you also get silver clamps. But right now, we obviously don't have silver clamps because we need a 50 strength. So come down to the strength and put your strength up one to a 50 so that we can unlock the silver clamps. An 85 primer defense is more than enough. You guys just trust me on this one. And then next, you're going to come down to your steel and we're going to put the steel to an 89. Now for me, an 89 steel is perfect. We get that silver glove, gold interceptor, which is very overpowered in this game, and silver right stick ripper if you know how to use that badge if you want to get your steel up to a 91 for that gold glove go ahead and definitely be my guest but i found that 89 steel on this build is perfect so that you don't lose any other attributes so me i go in 89 but if you want to go 91 for that gold glove be my guest and then for the block we're going to be able to get blocks on this build this build is a defensive menace for a point guard build for a shooting guard build for just an all-around build we're going to go a block of a 68 now for a 68 block we're going to get bronze chase down artist and y'all don't sleep on this badge this bronze chase down artist is crazy y'all i'm literally telling y'all and if you're interior defense i just put mine at a 50 because interior defense does not matter too much it's basically your block rating that's going to help you get stops in the paint as long as you have your hands up and all that you'll be fine you can literally stop anyone taller than you shorter than you whatever the case may be just put your hands up by putting the right stick up and you're going to get a stop on this build every single time with our block rating combined with the height and the wingspan of this build now that is it for our defensive category and you guys can see we're at a 98 out of a 99 overall so what i need you guys to do is i need you guys to come all the way down to your stamina and just go ahead and max your stamina out all the way to a 93. This will help us get the silver handles for days, silver 94 feet, and silver workhorse. And then after that, you guys have probably have like a little bit left. I just put it on my offensive rebound to a 26. That really does not matter too much. It's not going to affect anything. But these are the finalized stats on the build. Now, I found that these stats are like the perfect sweet spot for everything. A 94 dunk, you're going to get contact dunks crazy with the meter and without the meter. 40 standard dunk, so you get that overpowered standing dunk animation. 86 three pointer, so you guys can shoot perfectly on this build. 72 midi for the silver midi magician. 75 pass accuracy, so you can play in every single single game mode in this build 86 ball handle so you can get a lot of good dribble moves gold ankle breaker stuff of that nature and then our defense literally speaks for itself 85 perimeter 89 steel is crazy on a 66 guard and then we also get that block rating as well combined with our height and wingspan and then our physicals are insane as well 81 speed man you're gonna be super fast on this build acceleration does not matter too much 82 vertical so we get the elite contacts and that 93 stamina so we can get these silver badges right here now let's go to see the build name of this build obviously if you guys want the shades you guys will see it right here chicago bulls Cavs, and sacramento
Sacramento Kings. We get Lonzo Ball, World Be Free, and De'Aaron Fox, which are some pretty good comparisons if I say so myself. And our build name is an inside out score. Now, obviously, if you wanted to say like two way inside out score, you can go and put your perimeter defense to like an 87 or like something like that. But my build is called an inside out score, and this is the all around best build. And it's also a catfish build, man. People are not going to know how to guard you on this build because people think you're probably just a score, but in reality, you can play defense. But yeah, man, this is the name of the build right here. Now, let's go ahead and get onto the best jump shot, best animations, and how to upgrade this build as well. All right, y'all, it is now time to go ahead and get into how to actually upgrade this build. Now, for my people who don't have Rebirth, this is how I upgrade the build to an 85 overall. I put the driving dunk at a 90, standing dunk at a 40, three pointer to an 86, pass accuracy to a 70, ball handling to an 86, speed with ball to an 80, perimeter defense to a 75, steal to an 85. And then for my physicals, you guys can see right there what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Now, I'm not gonna lie, for my people who don't have Rebirth, you guys don't have much to work with right off the bat, but it's all right. You guys can obviously upgrade the build as you guys go along, play with this build and do all that type of stuff, unlock more caps and stuff. So this is what I would go in and upgrade if you guys don't have Rebirth, aka you're gonna go to upgrade to an 85 overall. Now for my people who have Rebirth or can go to a 90 overall, this is what I would go in and upgrade. It's pretty much the same thing, but now this time you get elite contact dunks, obviously, because you guys get more attribute caps and stuff like that. But this is what I would go to upgrade. Obviously, I put the dunk to 94, standard dunk out of 40, three to an 86, basically max out all the playmaking except the pass accuracy, put it to a 70. And then for the defense, it's gonna be a little more specific. 30 interior, 85 perimeter, 85 steal, 55 block, 26 offensive rebound. And then basically, we're just gonna max out all the physicals for the 90 overall. Now, obviously, all of this is interchangeable, especially for my 85 overall people. If you guys wanna change something up, go ahead and be my guest. But this is how I would upgrade it if I was going to an 85 overall and a 90 overall. These are just two ways I would do it. Obviously, you can change whatever you want to if you wanna drop your perimeter defense. Drop your dunk for right now and get that later. You can do whatever you guys want to, honestly. But this is the best way I would do it for a 90 overall. All right, y'all, next we're gonna go to go over the scoring moves and the playmaking moves. Now, I'm not gonna be one of those YouTubers that just goes through each one and stuff like that. I'm gonna just go to show you right away. I'm gonna show you guys the jump shot later, obviously, for right now. But this is what I do for my scoring moves. Obviously, just you guys can copy this down. And I'm gonna show you guys the best dunks as well. Some pretty simple stuff. Pro 2 dribble pull-up, spin jumper, Michael Jordan, and all that. You guys can just see. I'm not gonna go ahead and list that out. And then for the playmaking moves, this is what I go to use. Now, one thing I do wanna know is for passing style, go ahead and use none. Do not use a passing style if you guys have a 75 pass accuracy. I feel like the passes are just much slower and I don't recommend it at all. So go ahead and go no passing style for your 75 pass accuracy and below. And then for the rest of the dribble moves, you guys see it's some pretty simple stuff right here. Screenshot this if you need to. I'm not gonna go over every single one, but these are the best dribble moves in my opinion for that 86 ball handle rating. You guys can get a lot of good animations and stuff like that in my opinion. Even if I had a 92 ball handling, I would go ahead and use these dribble moves as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the dunk animations. I really don't use too many dunk animations. I just go ahead and use all the tomahawk dunks that I can get right here. You guys can see I use every single tomahawk dunk. I obviously get the elite contact dunks because those are crazy. And then I obviously put on the pro contact dunks. And then for the one foot moving dunks, I use the sidearm tomahawks. You could use the cockback tomahawks, but you can get blocked a lot with those. So I really don't recommend it. And then the tomahawks I do recommend is the uber athletic off one. I really love these tomahawk dunks. So I go ahead and use that. And then the rest are just filler dunks I use. You can use cradles off one if you want to. I definitely recommend this baseline reverse off one. And then obviously I use the pro contact dunk as well off the one foot. Now for the standing dunks, I just go ahead and use the two hand under basket regular. This is the most cheesiest like standing dunk animation in the game. If you do a crossover into the paint, just go up with a standing dunk. You're going to get this every single time. And it's literally just crazy. So just go ahead and use this for the standing dunk, two hand regular under the basket. And then for the signature dunks, I actually use a lot of signature dunks. Cannot cap to y'all. I use Vince Carter, Dr. Disrespect, Anthony Edwards, LeBron James, Tracy McGrady, Latrell Spurrell, Russell Westbrook, Andrew Wiggins, Glenn Robinson, John Morant, and then Kobe Bryant. And then the rest you guys can put on if you want to. This is just what I use for the NBA ones. I don't really have no personal preference for these, except obviously the LeBron ones are actually really good as well. And then maybe the Vince Carter ones is like that, but these are just stuff I usually just throw on and stuff like that, because these dunks I found that are just the most unblockable ones. So if you guys want to copy my dunks, here they are. Now for the jump shot on this build. You guys will see that I have a 92 three-pointer on this build, but this is the best jump shot for 86 three-pointer. Lower base, Tracy McGrady. Upper release one, Troy Brown Jr. And then upper release two, Julius Randle. And then obviously we're going to go full speed on this jump shot. You could lower it if you want to. It's just personal preference, whatever you guys want to do. And then for the animation blending, 35% on Troy Brown Jr. And then 65% on Julius Randle. And I really love this jump shot a lot. You can literally shoot over heads with the T-Mac base. So yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and use this jump shot if you guys need a good jump shot for that 86 three ball. Or if you guys don't like T-Mac base, I also use this jump shot right here for an 85 three-pointer plus. The base is JR Smith, release one Troy Brown Jr. and release two Julius Randle. And I like this jump shot a lot too. You guys can see it's gonna be on a little bit of a faster side because it has that full A plus release speed, but it's a really good jump shot. So if you guys don't like T-Mac base, go ahead and try out the JR Smith base. All right, y'all, that's pretty much it for this build video. If you guys did enjoy this build video or if you did find this video helpful, make sure you guys go and drop 
drop a like and hit that subscribe button. 100,000 subscribers on the way. But with that being said, it's been your boy 3Ball, and I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.